Now, what's next to do lip syncings? What's up people, Dobbs Wars is right here and you may guys know what about this is going on. Welcome to um, pretty much a an explanation on um, on how to make the lip syncing videos. Now, people have asked me questions for time and time again saying, how do you make them? How do you do the green screen? The green screen stuff is quite difficult because you have to work with the computer and I would say to you guys to definitely just go ahead and look on a YouTube video right away and press on with it like that. Now, I like it's just saying it out loud now people, I am not as big YouTuber like all the others who make amazing music videos or anything like that. They've got all the great tech and they've got all the work. I'm just a standard person who does it in a one room with a one camera, a bit of lighting and the green screen. But you can't do a lip sync window without music. Now this is before I had this beauty. This is a record player but also it plays CDs, USB, Bluetooth and also the classic cassette tapes. Now, I always, you guys ask me for songs, fair enough, I love your suggestions. Sometimes the suggestions are a bit wishy-washy, I ask you to try and pick another one instead because number one, I can't do it, or two, I don't like the choice. Because remember, I still have to have my own choice to say yes or no because it's not, it's not everything, everything's for myself but also for you guys too. I need to make sure that we're both in the same page and we're both happy with the video. So pretty much the first things first off with the lip syncing videos is the music. Right, so pretty much right now what I always do is either connect my iPod to my... To, that scared me. Got a ghost in the house again. And um, pretty much what I mainly do is pretty much check out on what's on my iPod and what songs have not been done yet, done yet and I write them down. And then I go ahead onto this thing here and put either... put tapes in, inside it or do CDs or even open this thing up and put my records in. Hence the term why I've got records down up here as well in my room. And that's uh, The Clash London Calling. A beautiful record if you guys want to know. And then I go ahead and sit down and listen to it. And pretty much what I mainly do is then sit down on my bed or on a, on a chair or something and literally just turn it on and listen and think about what to listen to. But that's when it starts to have to think in my head then, because I think to myself, that's a great song, I need to listen to anything, because it's difficult to say, oh, I know what to do and everything, so I have to go ahead and plan it out. So that's when it comes to my drawing and stuff, because literally, I've got a load of books and everything that's filled with different type of ideas and different type of plans or writing stuff down and all that type of shenanigans. However, I have to plan out the lip syncing video. Now, I'm gonna just go really quick back a few years, a few months back. Do you guys remember um, uh, Judgment? Okay, if you guys don't remember what Judgment is, bang, there's the video. Now, Judgment was something that was quite different because number one, it was a video I was trying to work on for ages because you guys wanted it for the 2000 subscriber special but I couldn't do it because I was running out of time. So I had to do it for the 3000. Because as you guys know, for the 2000 subscriber we did um, 24 hour Cinderella. So I had to go ahead and draw every bit on what I should have done in that video. And I know don't judge me on the pit drawings, people, but as you guys can see, I can't draw. <laughs> now, this is actually the scenery that I was thinking of for Judgment. And as you guys can see, two characters holding guitars, and as you guys can see, it's the same thing. With lights flashing in, or a bit of, like, fiery background and everything, and the fire is exploding and everything. I actually planned it all out on the drawing so I can figure out what I was going to do. So that's why I decided to do it that way, by drawing it but also listening to it and thinking about what can impact the video. So that's the main thing I mainly do first, listen to the music and draw the scenery of the green screen so I know what I've got in my head. The next part of the, on how to make the green screen and the lip syncing perfect is to listen to the words. As you guys know, 
dyslexia and everything is not a very good thing for me. But listening to words and capturing the same words as I go along works for me a lot easier. So I listen to the song over and over again until I'm sick to death of it and then know the words heart by heart but not saying the words. Try it a few times without the camera and then start standing on the green screen and start acting it out. Easy as pie! Then after you've done that you stick on the computer and do your editing work. And then bang, you've got the video. It's simple as anything. A lot of people say that lip syncing is not a talent, or it's not a skill. Do I give two tots? I don't. Because I love it, and I know you guys love it too. That's all I have to really say, how to make a lip syncing video. It's simple, and it's quite easy. You guys can do it as well. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell icon to get yourself notified when we're uploading and live streaming. The people on Sligo see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!